The struggle is against too many words. I think poems are too long. Even the poems, which would be short, could be shorter. A pot poured out fulfills its spout. I read poems and I memorize poems and I read short stories and I read essays, but I haven't got the stamina now to embark on a novel. It's like getting on the Queen Elizabeth for five days or six. I never introduce myself as a poet. It's an embarrassing category. Most people who read do not read poetry, but uh, if uh, at a party I'm introduced uh, as a poet, uh, I don't deny it, but I never say I'm a poet. That statue, that cast of my solitude, has found its niche in this kitchen where I do not eat, where the bathtub stands upon cat feet. I did not advance, I cannot retreat. I, I always start with more and then work and work. I go over and over the same lines, over and over, and people would wonder how, or I would wonder, how could you repeat the same lines until you break through to the next line? I don't even have to have a pencil. Every word has to count, and sometimes a poem may go through decades, it surfaces, it disappears, I don't work it on it all the time, till I finally get the word that makes the poem. There is a pillow on the windowsill, her elbow room, in the twin window enclosed by a grill, plants and pots bloom on the windowsill. We're all gonna die to be gone like that. At my age, the more alive you are, the more you're aware of death. Here, ghost I house in this old flat, your outpost, my aftermath.